Welcome to Igara Kabaji TV. In this episode, we reflect on how to make retirement useful. Our ancestors had a life expectancy of about 40 years old. But things have changed. Many people are going beyond 70 years old. Whereas the good old book, the Bible, tells us that God gave each one of us 70 years and that anything above that is a bonus. I have observed that providence has been extremely generous and given many people many years beyond the 70-year mark. My own father managed 94 years and my mother got to 85 years old. Most spectacular were my three aunties who each managed a century. The three, Elisheba Kavugui, Lidudugira, and Esther Azvirua, and of course Yonga, got a total of 300 years. This makes it necessary for us to look far beyond the years of retirement and plan a future that will bring joy to people and please our Creator. We should perish the thought that one retires to die. No, that is not true. Many of us believe in this false doctrine and for sure end up dying in the first three years of our retirement. In modern times, retirement marks the end of part one of our lives and so we need to start part two. It is the beginning of a completely new second adult season. We can call it the second life. What I'm proposing here is that God designed two lives for all of us. The first life ends at half our total number of years. If you live up to 90, your half will be 45 years. For me, since I'm planning to get to 100 years, God willing, then my half is 50 years old. So halfway cannot be the beginning of the end but the beginning of a completely new season. This season must be a meaningful, filled season for all of us. Unfortunately, most of us have very few role models for this second season. This is because we have seen many people in our society retire and waste themselves to death in a few years. What I'm saying here is that we must make retirement more like a new beginning. We cannot afford to make it a long goodbye. You do not have to retire to die. We have to make use of this second life to discover new territories. At the time many people retire, they still have enough fuel in their bodies to make meaningful contribution to society. But unfortunately, many have enough fuel in their tanks, but they do not know where to drive to. We have to all resolve to find how to make the second half of our life work. We have to take on a new career and become social entrepreneurs. The second part of our life should not take us by surprise. We have to plan it meticulously. Do not entertain the thought that retirement is the end of working life. Working beyond retirement is a choice that we all have to make. If we make this second life better, we will be the heroes of the future, the code breakers and pathfinders to be emulated by those who come after us. We all have to go through what Bob Buford calls socially productive aging. What we need is the will to live more for meaning than for money, status, or applause. We need the intention to serve a higher purpose than fulfilling our own selfish wants and needs. On that note, we come to the end of today's episode in which we reflected on the 
life that we should all live after retirement. On behalf of my crew, Wycliffe Oyugi, Neka Kagai, and Pambi Igara, I would like to invite you to subscribe to our channel and tune in again and again as we bring you thought-provoking and interesting episodes. Bye for now. I am Igara Kabaji.